Hello everyone! We know that winter can be a very boring season if you're stuck at home because of the cold weather. But thanks to technology progress, winter turned out to be one of the most interesting and exciting times of the year. If you don't agree, we're pretty confident that this video can help change your opinion. Can your chair do this? Today we're looking at 10 unique ways to travel during the winter. So without further ado, let's get started. The Snow Trike if you're a downhill mountain biker who lives in a cold winter climate, chances are that you switch to snowboarding or downhill skiing once the snow sets in. A group of fellow Slovenian cyclists, however, really like the idea of sticking with the handlebars seat pedals format. The result is the snow trike. The creators wanted to come as close as possible to the feeling you get while riding a downhill mountain bike on the slopes. That's why the geometry is fully unique and by our assessment makes the optimal ride. The difference from other similar products is also the pedal system that is positioned where the crankset on mountain bikes usually is. That makes the center of gravity of the snow trike similar to the center of gravity that can be found on mountain bikes. While the pedals don't actually turn, elastomer inserts do let them move back and forth by a few degrees, allowing riders to shift their weight more effectively. The biggest goal in designing the snow trike was creating a product that's easy enough for beginners to use, but robust enough for expert riders. That came to be the stunning and beautiful machine. We're sure that its clean, simple lines will catch the eye of everyone on the mountain. The Ziesel Tank Chair The unlikely offspring of a wheelchair to tank, the Ziesel Tank Chair. This is an all-terrain, all-season, all-electric runabout that's just at home on the snow as it is on sand, mud, and grass. Everything is controlled through a joystick, so acceleration, braking, reversing, and steering are a single-handed affair and three settings to tweak power output on the fly to suit the surroundings. It looks like this amazing one-person transport device can also drift, and this makes it a good starting point for some awesome stunts, especially since it already comes with a roll bar. The catch is, you probably guessed it by now, the price. Prices start at nearly $30,000, and that doesn't include the $1,500 charger. Lucky for you, we have way cheaper alternatives on this list for you to have fun. The Tarus this unique and distinctive Russian agricultural bike can crawl its way through all kinds of rough terrains. The Tarus is a lightweight, simple, two-wheel drive motorbike that pulls apart in minutes to fit in the trunk of a car, as long as you have the room for those tires. It's not glamorous, it really isn't, but it can surely be a viable and incredibly fun way to drive on the snow. Engine-wise, you can put whatever you want in there. You can even put a chainsaw motor, depending on what makes a performance versus weight you want to go for. And that's a relevant thing to think about with this one, because even with a 210cc engine in it, it weighs at just 180 pounds. With a smaller motor, you can get it under 130 pounds, making it incredibly easy to haul the bike up over any obstacles you can't ride over with those giant fat tires. Utility racks on the front and rear are handy for carrying things about, and since the bike is so light and the tires have so much air in them, you can wash it off by floating it in a river. When it's time to head home, the bike comes apart in about 5 minutes into a series of bits that fit easily in the back of a 4 wheel drive or station wagon. And the cost is just a little over $1,700. The Lotus Concept Ice Vehicle Planning an expedition to an uninhabitable continent soon? Didn't think so. But still, this biofuel powered concept ice vehicle is pretty cool. With a prop in the back and three ski feet to ride on, it even has a spiked front foot for braking action and a radar that can penetrate ice to detect crevices. This amazing vehicle is light enough to be manhauled across really rough terrain, so it's the ideal vehicle for fearless explorers. Even if you never plan to visit the Great White Wonder, you can dream of navigating the Antarctic wilderness with the concept ice vehicle. And let's face it, it looks sick. Just imagine pulling up to work like that. Well. I guess that's how the researchers in Antarctica pull up. So if your goal is to drive this bad boy, you know what to do. Okay, now that you're warmed up, it's time to get into the serious business. The Lazareth Wazuma Snow. French customizer Ludwig Lazareth has designed the vehicle to revolutionize winter sports. The Wazuma Snow makes higher speeds accessible to the less talented and will surely provide you with lots of fun. The skis and driving tracks, whatever the type of road, nothing can stop it. You will be able to face the cold and the snow in places where the landscapes will not be the only ones to take your breath away. This vehicle can reach speeds of up to 125 miles per hour, which is insane on the ice. 
If that's not enough to convince you, you should know that the French gearheads at Lazarus have a thing for infusing the creations with a little bit of that Italian flair. In fact, some of their vehicles come equipped with Ferrari engines. The Ripsaw Ripsaw is the snow machine of your dreams. It's the world's greatest melding of a supercar and a tank. At 80 miles per hour, it's the fastest dual track vehicle in the world, and it can plow over any terrain from sand to mud to snow. There are no limits. This masterpiece is a luxurious interior that looks like the Batmobile, it has over 600 diesel horsepower, and sports 12 inches of suspension travel. It can be driven by a human, or even be controlled remotely. It can go from 0 to 60 in 3.5 seconds. What more could you ask for? You can buy one for you if you have a spare quarter million under the mattress and a lot of open space. Ripsaw is one of the world's most sought after high performance luxury vehicles, and it can take up to 6 months to fabricate one, as it's a custom made machine, usually ordered by billionaires who want to have fun on their spare time. Movie fans may recognize the souped-up tank as the Peacemaker chase vehicle in Mad Max Fury Road. In the movie, they used a modified ripsaw with a car body on top. The Suwaki Chair Snowboard Can't get the hang of snowboarding but still want to carve some fresh powder? Do you have an injury or a disability holding you back? Then Suwaki is for you. This new winter gear attaches to any standard snowboard, letting it ride it downhill like a snow bike. Suwaki brings the fun of snowboarding to all ages and abilities. The product is essentially a seat that attaches to any 4x4 snowboard. It includes a main frame, floating system, suspension, handlebars, and a leash cord. It is easy to assemble and disassemble, requiring only a hex wrench, your hands, and about 15 minutes. Since you're sitting low to the ground, Suwaki has a great sense of speed. You control things by subtly shifting your weight in the seat, which can be really fun. Swakey is ideal for snowboarders who want to try something new, or non-snowboarders who can't quite get the hang of the sport. It's also suitable for people with disabilities, children, and for the elderly. Unlike snowboarding, you don't need a lot to get started. No special gear or boots, just hop up and go. It's really easy to master too, but just make sure you dress for the cold winter. The Wing Jump Now this has got to be one of the funniest from the list. It's not a vehicle, but we had to show you this. Wing Jump is the first skiing equipment that gives you the opportunity to amplify your skiing sensations while adding a new dimension, the sensation of being lifted. With your Wing Jump, you can jump more easily. The wings make you glide and you make your jumps longer and your landing smoother. For the first time on skis, you will be able to play with the air. You can use the feeling of being lifted to make new turns, to carve or shift your weight more easily. From a practical standpoint, you will always be in control. You will gain more stability, have a better control over your speed according to your position, and the wing helps you go faster or slower. As wing jump helps you have better control and overall global technique, you will feel less apprehension and move your skiing more easily and more quickly on the new slopes. Small foot. If you prefer walking, we got you covered still. Built as life jackets for feet, these inflatable snowshoes are easily attached to any types of shoes, giving you the ability to walk across any terrain you may encounter, from wide open spaces with powder snow to comparatively deep slopes with more compact snow. The soft form of the design makes the snowshoes very durable when exposed to jagged surfaces like rocks and branches, because they take the terrain's form and twist and bend both horizontally and vertically. The snowshoes have an open, oblong design and fixed heel strap system, which enables the wearer to move more freely without the inflatable leaving their feet. And when not in use, the shoes fold into a small bag. The Track and Go Are you thinking about how you're going to manage when the initial thrill of living in a winter wonderland turns into frustration as you try to cope with all the snow and ice about your daily life? Even if you have a four-wheel drive, once the snow sets in, or it all gets a bit icy, you may find that none of your vehicles are really equipped to cope with the severities of winter. But what if you could easily transform your truck into a snowmobile? Well now you can with the Track and Go. Designed to mount on most 4x4 vehicles, the Track and Go system installs in less than 15 minutes while keeping the tires on and without any modifications to the vehicle. Being mounted directly on the tire, the ride feels a lot smoother and less effort from the power steering is required compared to a conventional track systems with fixed installations. 
When installed, the vehicle can reach up to 25 miles per hour on snow, depending on the thickness. Thanks for watching. We will now start posting regularly, so if you enjoy the video, please consider subscribing so you can be notified when we post a video. And don't forget to click that little gray bell. Thank you, and have a nice day.